I had a very tragic event happen in my home years and years ago. I was left a mansion in an estate in the middle of the country, and trust me, it was a very beautiful, mystical place you could see the history written all over it. But one day I had a falling out with a man. That man was my uncle. He was left money, but that's it. But you see, he wanted to claim some of the land around the mansion, and no matter how many times I told him that none of the land was his, he wasn't having it. One night I eventually called a truce, but in reality I had planned on murdering him, which I did. I poisoned his wine and hid him down in the wine cellar. I tied him up to the wall with shackles to make the most of the space, and built bricks around him to suit the rest of the wall. I tried to do it perfectly, whereas people would think it was just a part of the wall. For years and years I felt an eerie atmosphere in the house, and I just put it down to my nerves over what I did. Thankfully he didn't seem to haunt the place like you'd see in some spooky houses where paintings would float along the air, etc. One night I brought a beautiful lady I met down in the village home for dinner. We were enjoying the dinner, but she didn't really like the wine I chose. I asked her to choose one below in the cellar, proud of my collection of wines over the years. I must have collected hundreds of bottles of wine. The girl went down to the cellar and was in awe with all the different wines I had on display. I was standing back wondering what she would choose. Suddenly I noticed something strange when she handed me a bottle that stood the hairs on the back of my neck. It was the same brand of wine I used to poison my uncle. It wasn't the same bottle of course, but the exact same brand. She gave me a smile and there was something in her eyes. Had she known that my uncle had been poisoned by me using this brand? Was she just playing a sick game with me before calling the police? Was she the police? All different questions swam around in my head until I realized something was moving. It didn't make a sound, but it was definitely moving. I panicked, but couldn't let her notice the fear. She'd turn around if she noticed. I had fear over what was happening before me, behind her. What I was seeing with my own eyes, but what I could not make any sense of. What I saw was a brick move, and my uncle's huge eye stared out at me. I remember he had lost an eye in the war, but I hadn't seen that eye for years, not since the day I killed him. I told the girl we should go up to finish her meal, it will be getting cold. She gave me a quisitive look, as she knew we had practically finished our dinner already. Suddenly she turned around and screamed when she saw my uncle's eyes staring right at her from the wall. I didn't know what was happening. How could my uncle be alive? I had to stop her screaming. I had to stop her screaming. It kept getting louder and louder, so I grabbed the bottle and smashed it over her head. As she fell to the ground, my uncle burst through the wall and looked at me sadistically and said, that girl could have chosen any bottle out of your huge collection, but will I tell you why she chose that one? Because I summoned her, here to take her soul, to bring me back to life. 